Hey there, fellow gamers. Today, we're diving back into the orderly world of Valittle to the left, which, as you may remember, had us meticulously organizing items into their rightful places when it released back in November 2022. And boy, oh boy, do we have exciting news. It's time to get our sorting gloves on once again as we explore its new DLC, the enticingly titled Cupboards and Drawers. When I first reviewed The Little to the Left, it had me completely hooked. Now, having delved into cupboards and drawers, I can safely say the spark has not only been rekindled, but it's now a roaring flame. This DLC, much like the original, beckons us back to the comfortingly methodical task of putting objects in their proper places, satisfying our craving for neatness and order. At its core, cupboards and drawers stays true to its roots. We're still solving ice hysteric puzzles, lining up objects, and grappling with the amusingly mischievous rookie the cat, who, thankfully, has decided to be a bit more hands-off this time around. The DLC, while maintaining the charm of the original, also introduces new challenges, hidden intricacies, and fresh puzzles to keep us hooked. I fondly recall the original game's unique puzzles that, paradoxically, were both its charm and downfall. They required a certain mindset that I found myself having to reignite as I dived into this DLC. I must admit, revisiting some of the original levels helped me get back into the groove. Luckily, the DLC does away with the eternal Tupperware level of the original game, offering us a variety of compact and engaging challenges instead. Cupboards and Drawers adds a whole array of 25 new levels, each set within, you guessed it, a drawer or a cupboard. Some puzzles boast multiple solutions, and a handful even introduce new types of challenges, featuring secret compartments, hidden drawers, and additional pieces. Despite their complexity, these puzzles retain the heart and soul of the original game, providing a few more delightful hours of gameplay. We've got an assortment of new items to put in order to think Scrabble tiles, buttons, bows, and broccoli. And fans of the base game will be thrilled to find the return of NES games, marbles, and buttons. The delightful presence of Rookie the Cat, thankfully not meddling in your work this time around, brings a sense of continuity and familiarity. The sheer satisfaction of tidying up a cluttered drawer is something that this game captures so well. I've been swept away by the warm, fuzzy feeling it gives, making the little to the left and its DLC cupboards and drawers such a joy to play. If the developers ever release another DLC focused on organizing bookshelves, I might just burst with happiness. In conclusion, Cupboards and Drawers is an absolutely brilliant DLC. It enhances the original game in unexpected ways, making it an absolute must-play for fans of Valittle to the left. It's the perfect extension of the base game, seamlessly incorporating new puzzles that feel both fresh and familiar. I am absolutely thrilled with this DLC and can confidently say it's worth every penny of its 6 US dollars price tag. This is a DLC done right. Don't miss out on it.